Hey guys, my name is The Spectrum and this is a video kind of updating you on what happened to Modern Warfare 3 yesterday. Uh, I know, yeah, most people say the maps, but of course the uh, game was updated. It had a patch. It was a pretty big patch as well, so the first main thing is they buffed the shotguns apart from the striker. They actually nerfed the striker and this isn't the game I actually wanted to show you that one I wasn't recording at the time it was a really really good game just to show you what changes they made to all the shotguns really um, but like the, they're not hit marker machined anymore let's put the striker aside the rest of them the spaz 12 as you see me using here um, I'm assuming the rest of them are pretty good I've seen people do work with the models the model 1887 um, I haven't yet used USAS or the KSG, two of my favorite shotguns in that game. You can have favorites in a game that you don't really like. Um, I haven't tried them out yet. I may do it like tomorrow, whatever. I was trying to get the Spaz Gold, but I just can't be bothered to play the game that long. And the other thing is that my internet is so bad at the moment, I can't get on and get like two games in a row. So, um, yeah. So, the, yeah, they patched the shotguns. And they're not hit marker machines, like I said. They do get you some kills. They're not super duper like in Modern Warfare 2, but bearing in mind this is pretty much naked. I've got like a full grip on the striker here and kick. So two things that basically do nothing to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you generally need damage or range to make them better, which, you know, which is what was supposed to happen, but it made it so that you could never get to damage or range to make the shotguns better and extend I'm not sure they fix extended mag stuff but from what I know I mean it's still like the best attachment to have on them regardless because then you don't have to reload as much but whatever I mean they're still they're not bad I mean you can see here I'm getting some at least reasonable kills they do have those moments where you just get a hit marker uh, bearing in mind I am using steady aim right now yeah they're like they do have those moments where it's just like I should have at least dented that guy if not killed him you know it's just those moments and uh, yeah I mean that's why you need damage and range on them really or you know either one um, the striker on the other hand I came across two guys using it today one in this game and one in the first game I played and the, the first guy uh, he did not do well he was for the range the striker is supposed to go to um, it was not working as it used to. It has definitely been changed by some accounts. Now, if it's in like shotgun range, it's still going to kill you. Because the thing the striker is good for is it's the spamming shotgun. It is essentially what would happen if you put rapid fire on a shotgun. If you, if you get what I mean. You can put out so many shots with it so quickly they just don't have a chance to respond. So that's why a lot of people like the striker. That's why you see it. That's why like the AA-12 in Modern Warfare 2 is good because you just essentially had a rapid fire uh, shotgun. Um, I haven't tested the AA-12. Funnily enough, I did I have been killed with it a couple of times. Funnily enough, um, but yeah, I mean, what can you do? They can't get everything perfect. But the other things uh, they fix the blind. Oh, the colorblind assist so if you didn't know there was uh, I don't want to say well it was a bit of a glitch but if you put colorblind assist on then your mini map would show enemy stealth bombers so that you could you know you could get away when this first came along I thought oh this is this is abusive you shouldn't do it you shouldn't tell people about it because it makes the stealth bomber not as good as it was previously but with the way support has been going, you know, with this whole, like, people just sit in corners, it doesn't matter if they get killed or not, they still get a free quad from a stealth bomber and an EMP to go along with it. Um, I think that it was an okay thing to have and now they've taken out the game, so you might as well take colorblind assist off, because then it looks like every other Call of Duty. Uh, this game, I, I put two games together because the first one wasn't that long and this one's just me trying to go pistol only with I think an interesting opening nade that doesn't get me anything um, and I, I don't know I have somewhat success 
Not really, not at all. I actually swapped to just using my, my PP90 uh, purely because I got bored. And and that's the thing, like even the even the fun stuff like using pistol only. But that that's only good really when you have friends to laugh about it with. On your own it's just kind of frustrating. So yeah. Um I was trying to follow a, a guide by Sandy Ravage saying like how to have fun on Call of Duty in general, like not just uh, Modern Warfare 3, but it was kind of pointed towards Modern Warfare 3. And he was saying how, uh, first, what was the first thing? Just don't get angry, just laugh, replace anger with laughter. Even if it's just like sarcastic, it will make you feel a lot better because laughter is like a, a good medicine for all things. Um, and, you know, if you're getting annoyed at something, make a class to counter it. For example, like I made a lot of rapid fire classes with some machine guns to get over lag compensation. Um, that's like my main MP7 class, rapid fire and silencer. I may also make a PP90, go back to using range and, and just hit fire everywhere. But um, that that aside, you know, just make a class to counter it. And then the other thing was uh, if you are old enough and are a responsible uh, adult then you should drink alcohol while you play games and I have done that today I got some uh, Cronenberg, some lovely lovely Cronenberg and uh, I just sat down to play Modern Warfare 3 and I got disconnected every few games so I couldn't play in, a, in like a streak and it just got boring it was like oh, I'm, I'm spending more time on the dashboard trying to reconnect over trying to actually get a kill. I mean, it's, it's stuff like that, like, why did... Okay, I get what, you know, Robert Bowling meant by we've taken last stand out of the game. He didn't say anything about final stand. It's a different perk to him. It's a death streak over, you know, a tiered perk. I get what he meant. But why did he think that we'd want final stand in the game if he had to take last stand out. Now here's, th it's things like this, people walking around with an RPG with nothing but their sights up, using blind eye assassin, like why? I get, you know, there's several reasons why he may have done it, but you can't stop people playing like that, and unfortunately it's people playing like that that makes the game bad, so people will use last stand because they want to get those those kills. Like, I use dead man's hand, admittedly, because I like to blow people up. I don't know, it's just... Shield. <sighs> it's just not that fun to play. Like They've put so, mo so much shenanigans in it. Like, this is the guy with the striker, he just turns around and like one-shots me. But, I don't know. Like, even the alcoholic beverage, it made Black Ops a laugh. And to be fair, I was playing Skyrim just beforehand. And I was enjoying Skyrim. I was really, really enjoying Skyrim. I just started a new character and... Uh, I, don't, I think I I forget what I logged off to do. I think I was just checking some YouTube videos, and I I think I was gonna check something on the on the wiki. I I forget what it. Is. I'll probably remember when I go back on and then have to log off again and, and go and check it. That's why I want to get the guidebook so I can just check up immediately. Um, I forget what it was. I really do. That's really annoying because now I'm gonna go back on and think. Oh, I need to check this out. Uh, yeah. So. I just, I just sort of like, didn't want to come off. I was, like, I, I want to keep playing. I want to keep going, and I still want to go back on, on it now. Um, but it is quite late, so. Oh wow, it's a lot later than I thought it was. Wow, did I really just spend an hour? Wow. Okay, that was random. Uh, sorry about that. In the middle of a commentary. Uh, didn't really want to go off on a bit of a tangent, but anyway, yeah, I'm just having a super fun playing that. I'm, I, I want to play Battlefield as well, but I've explained that, and I'm going to say this, if you're at uni in your first year, it sucks being a gamer at times. It, sometimes it's, it's freaking awesome, like, you have a, I mean, from, in my example, I have a wired connection, so you don't get those, you don't get a lot of those moments where you just get... Actually, no, you get a lot of those moments when you randomly disconnect. I tell lies. You don't get those situations where your connection or just, like, goes from, like, really, really good at the start of the match to really, really bad. Um, if you're, like, living at home with a wireless connection, you'll know what I mean, because 
what always seems to happen is you'll be just you know playing and then your mum or your sister will go on and you know go on their Facebook and stuff like that and just start and you sort of like no get off stop it I'm trying to you know get YouTube for the you can't just tell your sister or your mum to get off the internet because it's like well why don't you get off the internet you know so it's sort of that you know you have that almost private internet in your room but at the same time um, you have a, a strict nap time because there's so many people living in the same halls and uh, yeah it's just the connection is so bad I don't know why it's so bad recently either it's like it seems a lot worse than it was uh, say a few weeks ago maybe it'll sort itself out I don't know but yeah those are the things that are patched they've taken out the uh, the stealth bomber thing they buffed up the shotguns which is notable they 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 did do that well um, oh and they also try to fix lag compensation and I don't know whether they fixed it and my connection is just sucking at the moment or whether they've made it worse because there are people in this game who are like three seconds ahead of me at some times it just seems really really bad but I don't know, maybe that's just me. It doesn't feel like it's changed for the better, whatever it was. And how did that stealth bomber not kill me? And, yeah. Why? Why did that stealth bomber not kill me? I don't know. But that's it. Two defeats in a row, both in Piazza. Don't think this maps. Uh, I think it's an okay map. Like, it's fast-paced, but you can't... It's just such a stumble shoot. You just have to like hope that there's someone around the corner to shoot.